GR, we were talking about the federal overreach as it pertained to education. Uh, it's shocking, uh, but probably shouldn't be. Uh, when we look at the overreach of this administration, last month, President Biden announced that he will instruct the regulatory agency of the U.S. Department of Labor to issue an emergency order requiring all private businesses with 100 or more employees to require all of their employees to get the the shot, the COVID shot, or face weekly testing. Now, he, he uh, reiterated that yesterday in Chicago. We're going to talk more about his speech a little bit later. Um, is this constitutional? You've got 24 attorneys general of the states, 24 states, that have already put the Biden administration on notice, saying that when the rules are out, we'll see you in court. One of those attorneys general is Leslie Rutledge of uh, Arkansas, and she joins us now. Uh, general Rutledge, welcome to Washington Watch. Well, thank you so much, Tony. Always a pleasure to be on with you. And what an incredible summit here at uh Pray, vote, stand, and incredible Americans talking about issues that matter. And this matters to the American worker. This matters to folks in Arkansas that we have President Joe Biden showing us once again that he is absolutely willing to go beyond his authority and use that pen to force Americans and to force American businesses to require the vaccine. Yeah, and it's it's interesting because again, yesterday he was underscoring this and we still don't have any rules. Uh, OSHA was supposed to put out the rules. That's what you're waiting for. That's what the attorneys general are waiting for because you can't take, you can't take a speech to court. What's the holdup? Well, we're waiting on the rule to come down before we can uh, file that lawsuit. Uh, Right now, uh, we have Joe Biden's very dangerous words. Unfortunately, we have too many companies that are going ahead and acquiescing. Is that my design? Is that they're holding back on the rules and just using the, if you will, the bully pulpit to get these businesses to do the dirty work for the Biden administration, knowing that this rule is unconstitutional? Well, that is certainly a concern of mine and a concern of a number of attorneys general, but I certainly will not try to get into the mind of Joe Biden and what he is thinking at any given moment, because it might change the next moment. Uh, however, uh, this is a way for the liberal left and the agenda to go ahead and have companies implement these dangerous policies. And no, it's not necessarily dangerous to have people healthy at work. But what is dangerous is when you have companies and particularly you have a federal government mandating health care. Right. Now, and I've been very clear in this program, I am not anti-vaccine. Uh, I've not gotten the vaccine because I have natural immunity, which is not a part of the equation that this administration is willing to consider. And they're not allowing businesses to take that into consideration or either. They're also forcing this not only on businesses that have over 100 people, but also they are going to implement this rule with any healthcare institution that receives Medicare or Medicaid dollars. Is that something that the attorneys general will address as well? Well, definitely. And that's the going back the same liberal left playbook of holding those federal dollars out to uh, individuals or companies dangling that giant carrot in front of uh, even states. And to say, in order to get all of this federal money, you must comply. Now, where were those carrots when they were throwing out uh, all these benefits for the last 18 months? And now companies have found themselves without workers because it's hard right. to compete with the free federal dollars that right. they were giving. So why didn't they dangle those same carrots? But that's a the playbook that we've seen time and again over the years, Tony. It's nothing new to us. But what we are going to do, and it shouldn't be new to Joe Biden because we sued him successfully when he was vice president under Barack Obama. And we've sued him again a number of times already as president. Uh, the Republican attorneys general have. I've been leading the charge on some of those issues. And we're going to win when the time comes on this issue to prevent President Biden and his administration from requiring vaccine mandates. I mean, there, there's clearly the legal battles. And you lay out in your five page letter that 24 attorneys general uh, sent to the president kind of the underlying issues here. OSHA, they've uh, previous administrations have tried to use OSHA to implement these rules. Those have been challenged in court. 
and uh, about 90% of the time, uh, they have not withstell, with, uh, withstood court uh, scrutiny. Well, that's right. Uh, and again, it's because you have a president and using his administration to circumvent the will of the people and to circumvent the will of Congress. Uh, using OSHA is a, a means and an emergency is a means for the president to justify his illegal actions. We've also seen this in the eviction moratorium that the Supreme Court uh, said, no, you can't do that. Well, it didn't stop uh, this Biden administration from attempting to do it again. So we're prepared, and that's why we sent that letter, the 24 states did, to the administration to essentially say, if you move forward with this unlawful policy, we will move forward with litigation. And I actually think that's why they haven't promulgated the rules, is they know that, that within hours, days, they will be in court and it's indefensible. But there's also a, 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 a political PR aspect of this, because in particular, the healthcare workers, the frontline workers who a year ago were heroes, and now they're villains and they're being fired from their jobs because because they won't get a shot. And many of them already have natural immunity because they were exposed to this and they had COVID. Well, and this should be a decision for each one of those workers and their physicians. Right. I tell people all the time, get off Google and talk to your doctor. Um, I have personally been vaccinated. I have I did not have those natural immunities. I have not had COVID. Knocking on wood right now, Tony. Uh, but, you know, and I've got elderly parents that live a half a mile away from me. I got a 90 year old mother-in-law. So I was taking the precautions uh, that I felt were right for me based on my conversations with Absolutely. my doctor. Absolutely. I was not taking these steps because it was mandated. I was not taking these steps uh, because of some research that I found on an obscure website. And we certainly do not need the federal government telling businesses what they can and cannot do in, in terms of requiring their workers to be vaccinated. Yeah, I don't want uh, Dr. Biden telling me what I need to do. Well, there's only one doctor in his house, and I don't want Dr. Jill Biden, much less no. Joe Biden, deciding my health care. I understand. Uh, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, thanks so much for uh, joining us today, and thanks for being at Prayville Stand. Thank you, Tony.